Okay, this is section 5.2 and 5.3. We're going to be writing equations given a point and slope, or two points. So when we finish today, I expect you to be able to write an equation in point-slope form if you're given two points. Also want you to be able to write an equation that's parallel or perpendicular to a given equation. So let's start off by looking at two points. We're going to write the equation of a line in point-slope form that goes through the points 1, 6, and 3, negative 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my basic point-slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to my slope times x minus x sub 1. And I'm going to give myself a reminder that my numbers are going to plug in y sub 1 at my slope or my m value and x sub 1. So those are going to be the three numbers that I need. Well the first thing I'm looking at that I see that I just really don't have is the slope. So that's going to be my first priority is to find out what my slope is. And luckily they give me two points so I can just go ahead and find it. So I'm going to remember that my slope formula it's just the difference in my y's over the difference of my x's. y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. So I'm going to go ahead and label these guys so I don't make a careless mistake. x1, y1, 3 is x sub 2, and negative 4 is y sub 2. Plug this into my equation. So now I have 6 minus negative 4, that turns into 6 plus 4, over 1 minus 3, so that gives me 10, over negative 2, I simplify that, which gives me a negative 5. So I know that my slope is negative 5. Now I have all the information that I need. So now we have y minus, I'm just going to use this first set of points for this one, minus y sub 1, which is 6, is equal to my slope, which is negative 5, times x minus x sub 1. And that's the first one. Now notice I've got two points, so I could do this with either set of points. So now I've got y minus negative 4, that turns into y plus 4, is equal to my slope, still negative 5, times x minus 3. Now I can't look at those and just know that they're the same. So when I simplify this, what form does it turn into? So when I simplify it, it's going to turn into slope-intercept. So let's go ahead and simplify these and see if they're the same. Let's do the first one. So I have y minus 6 is equal to negative 5x plus 5. Now I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So I get y is equal to negative 5x plus 11. Let me erase this. Okay, now let's do the next one. I'm going to distribute this negative 5 again. So once again, I have y plus 4 is equal to negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 3 gives me a positive 15. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides which leaves me with y is equal to negative 5x plus 11. So even though I used a different set of points for the second one, when I simplify it, I can see that I have the exact same thing. So just because your point slope equations don't look the same, does not mean that you don't have the same line. It just looks different. OK, 
Okay, so now let's write the equation given these points, negative 3, 1 and 5, 5. First thing I have to do is find the slope. So once again, I'm going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. So now I need to find my slope. My slope is equal to 1 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 5 Okay, 1 minus 5 gives me a negative 4. Negative 3 minus 5, signs are the same. Add and keep the sign gives me a negative 8. So my slope simplifies down to a positive 1 half. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to put this in two point slope. So remember I have y minus y sub 1 is equal to my slope times x minus x sub 1. You can choose either point. I'm going to work out both so that you can see it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I have y minus 1 is equal to my slope, which is 1 half, times x minus negative 3 turns into plus 3, and there's my first one. My second one in green, y minus 5 is equal to 1 half times x minus 5. Okay, now let's go ahead and simplify this. Now this one's not going to be as pretty when I simplify it because I have this fraction. So I have y minus 1 is equal to 1 half x plus 3 halves. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Now 1 is a fabulous number to work with because I can change this to where it has a denominator of 2 without even thinking because any number over itself is equal to 1. So now I have y is equal to 1 half x. Well 3 halves plus 1, I'm going to change this 1 to 2 over 2, because one's like Superman. He can just change identities like that. Plus 3 plus 2 gives me 5. Numerator plus numerator. So I get 1 half x plus 5 halves. Okay, now let's look at this one. So now, just have my y minus 5 is equal to 1 half x minus 5 halves. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Now I need this to have this common denominator. Right now 5 has a denominator of 1. I want it to have a denominator of 2. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. So that gives me 10 halves. So negative 5 halves plus 10 halves. Oh, signs are different. Take the small number from the large number. Keep the sign of the larger. So let's see. I get y is equal to 1 half x. Well, 10 minus 5 gives me 5, which is positive, And my denominator stays 2. So even though these look different, they're equivalent. They're the same thing. Okay, now parallel lines, we've talked about this before. Parallel lines always have the same slope. So if the slope of a line is 2, a parallel line will have a slope of 2 also. Now perpendicular lines are a little bit different. If the slope is 3, the perpendicular slope would be the negative reciprocal. So it's going to be the negative and the reciprocal. So that would be negative 1 
third. So if the slope is one half, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative two. If the slope is negative two fifths, the perpendicular slope is going to be positive five halves. So it's the negative or the opposite sign and the reciprocal. Okay, now we want to write an equation in point slope form that's parallel to y equals x plus 4 and passes through the point 2, 3. Oh, guess what? They gave me my slope and they gave me my point. So my point's right here. What's my slope? My slope is right here in front of this x. Math people just don't write that one because it doesn't do anything for us. So now, just to keep me straight, I'm going to write my uh, point slope form. y minus y sub 1 is equal to my slope times x minus x sub 1. Oh, y minus 3 is equal to my slope, which is 1, times x minus 2. And I'm done. That's point slope. Now if I wanted to simplify it and write it in slope intercept, all I'm going to do is distribute. Well, 1 multiplied by x minus 2 isn't going to do anything. So I have y minus 3 is equal to x minus 2. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So y is equal to x plus 1, and that is my slope-intercept form. Last one. Okay, now we're going to write the equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 2 and is perpendicular to y equals negative 4x plus 6. Well, the slope of this one is negative 4, but my perpendicular slope is what? Positive 1 fourth. Once again, they've practically given me all my information. My point is 3, 2. My slope is 1, 4. I'm just going to write down my point slope form so I don't make any silly mistakes. And now I'm off. y minus 2 is equal to 1 fourth times x minus 3. And that is point slope form. Okay, now if I want to write it in slope intercept, what am I going to do? I'm going to simplify. I'm just going to distribute, move everything around. Now this one may be a little bit ugly, but that's okay. So I have y minus 2 is equal to, distribute the 1 fourth, so 1 fourth x minus 3 fourths. Now I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So I have y is equal to 1 fourth x Let's see, negative 3 fourths plus 2, we need to multiply both of those by um, 4. So that's going to give me 8 fourths. Take the small number from the large number, keep the sign of the larger. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 is positive. So plus 5 fourths. And that's my slope-intercept form. And that's all there is to it.